All right, so real quickly, I'm going to show everyone how to add a field and calculate a field on ArcGIS Pro. So jumping right in, the first thing you're going to do is navigate to whatever layer uh, you're trying to make additions to. And you're going to right click and go up to Attribute Table. Uh, once you get your table in front of you, you simply click uh, this add right next to field and then it's going to bring up another tab that is a little different from your attribute table tab and this uh, this window it just lists all your fields and you can see down here there's the, the new field that you're adding so in this hypothetical example let's just uh, let's just name this new and then the alias I believe is what's what is just dis, uh, displayed on your attribute table I could be wrong there but uh, the data type is important typically I think the average person is going to be using um, one of these first four or text short and long are non-fractional float and double are fractional values and the difference between the two of those within those groups is the amount of precision. Um, dates so is obviously for uh, date, data, text for text, and then blob I think is some kind of binary type data. These three down here, to be honest, I don't use very often and don't know a lot about, but um, I would say the majority of the time someone is going to be using these first four or text. Um, and there's a lot of considerations to make when it comes to choosing the correct uh, data type. So for these, for the, the purpose of this, um, this tutorial, let's just go short. And if you double click under number format, a little uh, three dots pops up here on the side. You click that and then you can get into a number of options here. And I'm not going to go into all the details of all these, but in this case, I'm going to select numeric, and then you can make some uh, some adjustments to various things. And because this is a short integer data type, uh, I don't don't think uh, having six decimal places would really change the way our data is going to be displayed. But I'm going to go and put zero there, um, and I'm going to leave alignment the way it's set. Click OK. And so now we have this new field named new. And I'm going to go up here and click Save. OK, so now that is saved. I can close out of this. And you can see my new field is displayed here, named new. And uh, currently, all of the values are, are just null because we don't have any data in there yet. And from here, there, there's a couple options. So you can see this is a really this is a vector um, a polygon feature class, and there's really not a whole lot of data here, right? Just seven uh, polygons. I can manually go in. Say so you you just want to go in and make some changes yourself. You can double click on each of these and input values. So that option is available to you if that makes sense. I think there's going to be a lot of situations out there where it probably doesn't make sense, especially if you're working with a really large data set. Um, but in this case, that might work out fine. Um, if you make changes like this, you do have to go up to Edit and click Save. Another option available to you uh, one that might make more sense with larger data sets is uh, Calculate Field Geoprocessing Tool. And with this tool, you know, I can calculate values for all of these, uh, these rows within this field. There's really just a, a ton of methods and ways to do that, depending on, you know, what you want this, this field to be and what you want the data to be. But um, let's see. So in this example, we've got the Calculate Field tool open. And I've selected the polygon that I'm working with here, the attribute table that's open. 
and I want to mess with or I want to change the the new field and let's see expression type Python and you've got some various um, options there for for how you want to write your expression but um, I'm just going to do something real simple. Say we want the new field to be the same as rank, but uh, you know, plus two or something to that effect. You could double click rank, oops, then select the plus sign, plus two, and then you could run this tool. And then as you can see, all of these these rows, these fields, are now whatever rank is, plus two. And then you'll want to save those edits. And again, there's just so many ways you could do this, uh, really just a million different things. I mean, maybe, maybe you want all of those values to be five for some reason. So new equals five. You can run, it, run the calculate field tool. And all those values are now five. But of course, uh, you know, maybe an example would be if this is zip code and it includes that those last four digits that are um, you sometimes see with zip codes, and maybe you just want the first five numbers of the zip codes in a field. You know, there's an expression for including the first five numbers uh, and I could think of a million examples, and there's a lot of you know expressions here, uh, various ways to write that expression to display that data. Uh, many of which I probably don't know how to write, and honestly, probably use Google or those kind of sources to kind of figure those things out because I don't write tons of expressions. But the point is, uh, there's there's going to be a way you, an expression out there to get what you need for this new field that you've created. So. Again, you can input data manually and save your edits, or you can go to Calculate Field by right-clicking your new field, and you can write an expression for for what you want uh, uh, this, this new field to be. So, hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, subscribe if it was, like if it was, and see you in the next video. Thanks.